Hello everybody and welcome back to the new safe bar. We are jumping in again. We had a crazy run as tarnished um, as tarnished Judas in the past episode. And now we're going to jump in as Arachna. And I think next episode I'm going to do Tainted Cain. Of which the character I don't really like. But we're going to give him a go anyways. But yeah, this time I'm feeling a regular run as a spidery gal. She is fun. She is fun. And on the theme of Spurders... Spider spiders. Um, why don't I have web hearts? Do you have to have web hearts unlocked before you get any web hearts as this character? I didn't realize that was a thing. Strange. Odd. Maybe something's just broken. Oh, chastity belt. It's like, it's one of those items that I kind of like, but it's also like a bit dookie. Because it just makes me play weird. Come over here, you. Good. Like, I grabbed that key. It's a whole one damage down. It's crazy. Uh, I would like to blow that up at some point. But yeah, on the theme of... Um... God, can you give me some enemies that I can turn into spider sacks and not all these low health little fools, please? Um, what's what's your, like, irrational fear? Lots of people have irrational fear of spiders, which... It's, it's, it's hard to understand, but then again, it's why it's irrational. Um... So personally, I don't really get it, but that's the whole point of irrational fears. They don't make any sense. You're not scared of them for a particular reason. You just you just are. I don't really have, like, a, a really bad fear. I have a light, like, a light fear of heights. Like, and it is very light. I, I it's, no, it's never stopped me from doing anything, but if I have the option to not go up somewhere high, especially somewhere high with, like, a, a flimsy ledge then I will take the option to not do that. But it's never really stopped me. It's not ever been that big of a problem. So I, I don't really class it as a proper, like, irrational fear. Because I, th I feel like when it's irrational, it's the sort of thing where if I ever got close to a height, I'd shit myself. Uh, but it's, it's, not, it's not quite that bad. Can you stop shooting out kids, please? Thank you. Cat and Nine Tails as well. Lovely. Very thematic run so far in terms of our character's colours and our item colours. Everything's... All very similar right now. Um, it's kind of interesting. Right. I think we can just throw this here. Um, one thing that's really annoying about Arachna as a as a character is the knockback that she has for. Uh, oh my god, these enemies! The knockback that she has on her tears makes it a little difficult to actually keep enemies like securely in their webbing sometimes. Which is always a little bit frustrating. The kind of just is what it is. 50% uh, chance for all names to be replaced with burning effigies. That's actually really good. Um, if we get this with the um, with the, the kill switch button, whatever that item's called. The do not press this uh, item. That could be really crazy. Uh, I'll grab one other key. I know it's a whole damage down, but I think I should take it. Right. Damage wise, we are doing pretty well, though. Our character's looking kind of kind of gnarly now. Um, there you go. It's good having high damage because obviously our spider's damage is affected by our damage, but also it means it's so much easier to turn enemies into sacks. I'm not going to pick up another key until we leave the floor. Okay, this was a nice room. This was a nice room. I feel like maybe I do have a web heart and it just isn't displaying correctly because I am getting a, an awfully large amount of um, of spiders. I don't think this will web you, no. You don't have enough health. Inflicts all enemies in the room with freezing. Not super successful there, but it's fine. Again, this won't do anything against this guy, so... And we get the white rose as well, which is pretty darn good, I'll take. I'm, I think I'm going to go angel deal here. And yeah, let's go and grab our other key here. Oh, I, I always forget that. You can't, you can't actually leave keys. It doesn't work. Right, let's go through this room here. There's a lot of keys in this room. Wow. Like that enemy there, I knocked him off of the webbing there. It's just like, come on. Come on there. Good. I just wanted to get some extra spiders for our next floor. But yeah, plenty of keys there. I, I did forget that, yeah, um... If you leave a room that has a key in it, it disappears. The problem is, the minimap API doesn't have anything to say 
update to say there's nothing left in that room. So oftentimes it'll seem like it's there on the minimap, but it's not actually there. Good. What the fuck hit me then? I have literally no idea. I think I walked into like an enemy or something that I didn't see. I must have done. I like walked here and like walked directly into something. It's not bad damage to be honest. It's not like we've got crazy low health or anything, but it's not ideal. For God's sake, I knocked him out of the webbing again. It's just so frustrating when that happens. Well, that's a room that I definitely want to get rid of. Another key there. I'm going to leave it. I I I'd rather try and keep my damage high here um, and take one key at a time. Like I said, chastity is an interesting item. It just it leads to some unfortunate circumstances. Oh my lord. This room creeped me the fuck out then. Wow. Uh, Curse of the Tower. Lovely. Exactly what I was looking for. Double black art though is very, very nice. God damn, yeah, that effigy room there. Another one. And another one of these as well. That's just a key. I will take it now that I'm on zero keys. Thank you. Okay, you guys are not a problem. Should I check out the shop? I've not quite got enough money, so it's not super worthwhile. I'm not going to bother with, with, uh, with only one key. What the hell blew up that mushroom then? I have no idea. Another key there. I'm not bothered. Like I said, I'm going to try and keep it at one key at a time to keep my uh, my money. My money? Um, my damage high. Having all the spiders going to the boss fight just means total annihilation here. We do, of course, lose the majority of our, fly of our spiders even. I keep calling them flies for some reason. We get ourselves Mum's Underwear, which ain't bad, but eh, I say it ain't bad. It's pretty terrible. And then we get, oh, Crucifix is pretty decent. I like it. Um, Still forgot to change the Blue Fire server. Right, we go down. This is a pretty quick run so far. I'm, I'm liking it. I like the speed. Yeah, I'm kind of like into a fast run right now. Hey, uh, I'm kind of into a fast run right now because, um, oh, bloody bad hit. Because of the fact that, of course, um, our next run is probably going to be quite a bit slower if we're playing as um, the old tainted fella himself, Tainted Kane. It's cool that this like gives you herming and stuff. Pretty nice. We're getting a lot of the effigy rooms, which I really, really like. Saves us some time. The only thing is you don't get, obviously, room clear rewards. Whereas when you have the red button, you still get the room clear rewards. It's got some downsides, but it's, it's got a lot of upsides too, so I don't mind. Okay. The crucifix thing seems to trigger about 50% of the time. I'm not quite sure what the exact numbers are on it, but it's pretty good. Especially considering, like I said, it adds that herming as well. Also, it's just visually pretty cool. Nice. Ooh. That is a problem I've just noticed, though, because the enemies don't die, like, traditionally. They don't die as they should. It doesn't actually trigger the egg sack sometimes, so that is going to be a little bit of an issue. Little bit of an issue there. I didn't even think about that. Because, yeah, like, if I kill this enemy here... Yeah, you see, I never got an egg sack for that. So this is actually kind of an anti-synergy because the enemies don't truly die. Slightly problematic for us, but it is what it is, I guess. The item itself is still really good. It just means that we're going to be severely limited on the amount of um, spiders we can generate now. Um, not having mapping again is the worst thing to ever happen to anyone. Don't know where I've been and where I've gone. Oh, for God's sake, get back on top of there, you fool. Okay, that guy we managed to get, nice. That guy, sadly not. Okay, let's use the herming and extra damage there where we can. But yeah, it's triggering quite a lot, so it's it's kind of ruining things a little bit for us. I didn't really think about that when I picked it up at all. What What's left in this room? Or is there nothing left? 
No, there's nothing left. I'm just dumb. There you go. Got some eggs there. Yeah, it seems to be about a 50% chance. So it's, it's, it's not a massive reduction to our efi efficiency. It's just now we've, there's a little bit of unreliableness. Damn, son. We're still getting a, a decent amount of spiders. It's not a complete loss. Just I'd like to get more for my boss. I'd like to have a good amount for when we, when we hit the boss. Nice. Didn't even mean to kill that guy on the... Uh, on the web there. It just kind of happened. Okay, nice. Found our item room. Lovely. Magic fingers. It's actually pretty good, you know. I like magic fingers quite a lot. We lost out on that key there, but we gained damage for it, so it's fine. I missed completely on that shot, but yeah. Now we've got pretty good damage here. We could bomb to get that key, but I'm honestly going to say no. Oh, God. We're going to have absolutely no friends. You know what? I'm staying keyless now. I'm staying keyless. If only I could find where the hell my boss is at this point, because I have literally no idea. This is just n no mapping. It's just such hot bullshit. I hate it. I hate it. I have no idea where I've been and where I'm going. Already been this way. Oh, some of those spiders look really cool. We've got these rainbow ones. And then... Have I been this way? I've been some of this way, clearly. But which exit did I miss? I went this way. Is there a door up here, maybe? Oh, there's the boss. Okay, we got it. We got it. We're good. Oh, fuck me. This guy's attacks are... Difficult to dodge. Stop firing. Holy bullshit. Stop. I do not like this boss. I lost so much health there. God damn it. Not even an angel deal to cheer me up. We did get a fire rate up. A little bit peeved about that, I'll be honest. A little bit peeved. Right. Keep it going. I don't... Honestly, am I even going to, like, continue using the spool? I think it's just going to be a, a fool's errand to keep using it, to be honest. Okay, there's one key. We'll take one. Oh, the fuck. Get out of my face. I'm be taking a lot of damage here, and uh, Curse of the Tower doesn't make that any easier for me. I think if enemies are stationary, it's worth using, because we get the slow effect anyways, but otherwise it's a little bit, a little bit silly. I'll take that, because we're about to get another one here. Bum friend. Yay. God damn it. I suppose he can eat keys for us, at least. That's not a bad thing. I'm, I'm taking all the money, though, you fool. Wait, no, he only takes money. Damn it. For some reason, I thought he ate everything. Not how he works. Ooh, it's in a treasure room. I'm intrigued. Oh, for fuck. Taking so much damage. Oh, I only had one key. Stupid. Please give me another key. What What on earth type of movement was that? You goober. He went against how I thought he would behave. I'm not going to get another key now, am I? It's going to be depressing. Also, we are near death. I, How I've fallen from grace. And you watch... I know what's going to happen. The game's going to be like, ha, 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 you've got low health. Would you like a devil deal? Would you like a little devil deal that you can't possibly use? I bet you would. That's what the game's like. Oh, that thing still shot me. I didn't realize it fired tears. Fuck you. Oh, God. Anger is getting to me. What the hell's going on with this guy up here? He's like off the map. And again, 15% chance twice in a row. Beautiful. Although I am a little sad that it's less chance to get keys, which I desperately need right now. 
I want my treasures to be tainted, please. That's not the right type of key. Okay, decent. Could be a bonsai key, I guess, if I'm lucky. Keep moving around for these guys. No keys. God damn you, game. Bombs a key. Tears down. Tears down. This is why people don't like pills. Fuck you. Maybe I should search my secret room. Hey, we got a key. I'll take the other key as well, why not? Right. Away we go. Tainted treasure, what could it be? I actually genuinely don't know what item could be tainted out of the ones that we currently have. I le le legit have no idea. It's Curse of the Tower. I don't know what I'm getting here, but I'll take it. Literally no idea what that does. Maybe on hit, chance to double our bombs or something? Add up. I have no idea. It is a mystery to me. Right. Let's go see what boss we have. See which thing can wreck us. Just a little gishy. I should be using bombs here when possible. But good. Whoa, why did he explode at such a... <laughs> Since when did Gish explode? Is that new? <laughs> Skip the shit out of me. What the hell? Gish is just boom. Excuse me, my good fella. Excuse me. At the minute, I'll be honest. This, this run isn't going super hot right now. But I'm also just generally a little bit pissed off. Because we sent our car to the garage. Like, um... Because there was some engine... Like, from some coolant leaking in the radiator. Why did that enemy explode? Where? Is this what our fucking tower curse thing does? Oh, fuck me. We're so dead. Okay, it is. I got bopped right into that guy. Okay, okay. We'll finish this off with a, a speedy challenge of some sort because that is a very... Sad ending to an episode. Uh, challenges. Here was head trauma. Let's go for it. And this is just a mum's foot, and I think it's really easy if I remember correctly. Uh, it's not the one I thought it is, but it's still, I like it. A hug for me. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there, cheeky. Dude. I'd like to buy the mysterious gift, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, head trauma is like kind of my jam because I actually quite I actually quite like this item. Right, let's go. Tiny planet, don't bother me at all. Ooh, a library as well. This is this is a good first floor. It's a good first floor. I'm wondering what we're going to get here. Do you know what? I will certainly, certainly take a book of revelations. Ooh, these dips look cool. I would like to open that if we get the chance. Right. Oh, the double soul heart there. Nice. Crack that open. Strength card. I'm just going to pop it on this boss fight. Make it go by a bit quicker. Especially against you, you shit. Took a full heart of damage there, apparently. Oh my god, I think I just barreled myself twice in a row. Give me that. Okay, good to go. Right. That all didn't go too great, but... We're, we're powering through, we're moving on. 
And we destroy. I'm going to say, our damage at the minute is actually not bad at all. Especially considering we just got the, uh, the glass eye, whatever it's called, for even more damage. Money's probably worth grabbing. I should come in here as well to see if there's anything worth bombing. Oh, you're the contraband one. I, I realized because he wasn't playing an animation. Look down. Shouldn't gamble on these. Contraband? I'm not sure. Do I take the contraband? Probably a good idea to get some items, but also our active is very good. So I'm a little bit de deterred by that. Okay, two black hearts, lovely. Good, good. Oh, troll bomb, no thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do my boss now, because then uh, I can use my book of revelations. I don't want to use it before, because I don't want to get... Um, I don't want to get, what's it called, uh, the... Horseman. I don't know what that card that dropped in the previous room was, I'll be honest. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad fighting these guys. The confusion certainly helps. You might be a little more problematic. I haven't fought you with uh, Tiny Planet in a while, so I forget exactly how to do it, but... This, that, I'm going to say, that's kind of working. I will check out a Devil Deal here because I've got a, quite a lot of HP, especially with that as well. I will certainly take Sun Bond for the piercing shots. Right. Spawns one to two pennies. Great. <laughs> What's even the point in that? Oh, shit me. My stem cells is going crazy. What the hell is this? Right, okay. We've got plenty of HP, so I'm going to go and take Contraband, because it's pretty useful. Um, and it could give us some good items. I think it gives three... What happened there? I don't know what happened there. I think that guy tried to steal my Contraband, but... I always forget that you're supposed to pick it up in the room you find it in. Oh well, I didn't, and it worked out. But yeah, my, my stem cells is going wacky, so my fire it. Right, let's see what we end up getting. Whatever it is, it shan't be too bad, I don't think. Hello, good sir. I have the drugs. Let's make a deal. Um, it's actually not great. <laughs> Hot bombs is... Eh. An IV bag's pretty worthless. That wasn't particularly useful. We would have been better staying with the book. But yeah, Sun Bond here is really good. Because for one, it gives us the chance to fire piercing. But also... Stitching enemies together is pretty useful, too. Okay, the damage from, um... The damage from our red tiers... Is pretty much negligible. I shouldn't even really be trying to hit enemies with them. Like, basically all they're causing is absurd knockback, and that's about it. Good. Well, we should be able to get through floors pretty quick here. A good thing is as well, like, unless we have money, we don't need to find any rooms. Once we find the boss, we can just leave. I know there's some rooms that we could that could show up, like planetariums and stuff, but I'm not going to worry about those. It'd be good if our stem cell shots could also be certain bond shots, but that would be a bit crazy, I think. Good. Straight to the boss. Yeah, we got a shop here, but we don't need it. Like, you see what I mean? Everything just got sewn together then so quickly. Because of the speed of the shots and the fact that they're covering the entire room. We can do damage to both these guys at once very, very easily. <laughs> Such a wacky looking build we got here. With just like a few items. 
Right, good, good. We'll definitely check that out just in case. Extra bombs is nice with hot bombs. But the stationary target, the red T is actually pretty decent here. Yeah, not too bad at all on that guy. Another devil deal? Sadly not, but PJ's pretty much sets us up for the rest of the run. We only have a few more floors to go, to be honest. It's been already a pretty quick run. Um, but PJ certainly makes me not as bothered about, um, not as bothered about leaving Book of Revelations. Also, I just realized what happened uh, with the contraband. So, if you leave contraband in a room, an enemy comes and steals it. But because we have this, uh, this trinket... And we hadn't seen any other enemies between going back to get contraband. It actually deleted the enemy that comes to steal contraband. So that's why we got to keep it. That's pretty funny. Would not have expected that. Right. Of course I could IV bag to get myself some extra money for the shop. But we just don't need it, really, do we? It's only to mum's foot. Should probably get that bomb, but... What's done is done. Just sit here and, uh... Wail on him. In fact, let's try... Ah, I tried to get contact with him with a bomb, because... Hot bombs actually do a good bit of contact damage as well. That's enough. Devil deal incoming, potentially. See what else beautiful we could get here. Binky, lovely. Quite a bit of extra. Oh, a lump of coal would be fantastic here. You know he's not going to give me it, but honestly, Krampus's head would also be good. But come on, lump of coal would be just stellar. Champion Krampus here. Champus, as he's called. Pushed that bomb right back at me. I don't know how he managed that, but I respect you for it, good sir. And we did get Lump of Coal. Awesome. That has upped our DPS by quite a bit. Especially with piercing. Piercing makes it even wackier because they can continue to grow. Because, like, when you pierce for an enemy, the, the tier loses damage after piercing, I believe. But Lump of Coal will offset that now. And it'll actually still gain damage. Is overall going to be quite, quite effective. Who's left? Good, good. I'd like a bit more speed. Our speed down at the minute is uh, definitely hampering my ability to clear rooms quickly. I think we're on the line to the boss here. This seems about right. It's always good when you can pick the right way. You can never pick the right way when I don't have mapping, though. When I don't have mapping, I can never find the boss. But this was not the right way. In fact, this is such an annoying room that I'm just going to bomb my way out of here. Can't be bothered. Bombing your way out of rooms is things, so something that people do not utilize often enough such an underutilized part of the the game that it, it's just so useful right quickly wait for our tears to disappear grab that real quick another soul heart up to full hp lovely and we get the fallen as well Ooh, another devil deal item coming in look at the damage right now just obscene and we get a star of the bottomless pit a uh, chance to spawn blue flies upon killing enemies and converts all blue flies into locusts. Very good stuff. Going to give us quite a lot of power. Also, yeah, erasing one enemy every floor. Pretty useless in um, Fiend Folio, but it, it helped us out at some point. Whoa, this is a big boy. Picked the shop route. We don't need to go for that. More bombs. Potentially good. See, so I could bomb my way out of this room, but it's just so easy to clear that there's just no point. 
extra key for some reason. Not that I need it. Challenges like this are just like run of the mill. Easy peasy. I want the Air Wars rune because obviously Air Wars now is actually pretty good in being able to help you get crawl spaces. So it seemed like an obvious one to go for for a challenge that wouldn't be that hard. And indeed that has been the case. And then after this, I'll go have myself a nice chicken wrap. And then coming back and recording a little bit more because I want to get a little bit of a backlog going before the weekend. So I can have a bit of a, a bit of a weekend off recording. You know how it is. I tried to sneak over that creep. Didn't really work. It's fine. The damage is pretty negligible right now. You're just demolishing things right now. Beautiful. Boss, where are you? You've got to be close. It gets to be close. There you go. This is last floor. This, I think this is last floor. There you go. Wow. Lump of coal is just insane. Right, there you go. Easy peasy. Good little challenge. Nice way to finish off the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.